In this presentation, we're going to discuss about multi-file C programs. So far, we were seeing programs which had only single file because the programs were small. When the source code base gets larger, we have to divide that source code into multiple files. This is for keeping the modularity and to manage the source code easily. So most of the real-world programs contain more than one source code file. Here we're going to see how we can write and maintain source code with multiple files. Let's start with a demo of a multi-file C program. So I have created a new project in Visual Studio. So I have one file here, multi-file1.cpp. I'm not considering these files as the files we have generated. So I'm omitting those files for the sake of discussion. So I have an empty main in this particular program. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another source file. So right click on the source file, add new item. So in this I'm selecting CPP. So I'm going to name it code one. So I got code one dot CPP. Now I'm going to write a function into that. So I'm including the precompiled header file. So I have defined a function here. So now I have to call that function from this particular file. So these are two different files, code one and multifile one dot cpp. So what I want to do is I want to call this function from this particular cpp. So the best method is to create a header file. So I'm going to add a header file. So I'm going to name it code1.h. So this header file and this source code file are going to be pairs. So whatever definitions are there in this source code file, I'm going to put that here in this header file. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to include that header file here code 1.h. Now I can call that function. So I have included that header file. So this particular declaration came here and with the help of declaration, I'm going to access this definition. I'm going to do a build. So build succeeded. I'm going to put a breakpoint here. And we got the output here. Normally when we do multi-file programming, always the CPP or C file, the code file has a corresponding header file. The header file will have all the declarations and the source file will have all the definitions. So now what I'm trying to do is I'm going to delete this particular definition. So I have deleted this definition from here. Still I can compile this particular file. So comparison succeeded. The compiler only look for declarations. Compiler won't look for definitions. So who is looking for definition? So let's build this program. So we got a link error. So unresolved simple. This particular function is unresolved at the time of linking. So linker is the one which is looking for definition. So compiler looks only for declaration. So if compiler sees this, compiler is happy. Compiler doesn't look for this at the time of compilation. 
Another fact we have to understand here is the compilation of each CPP and its dependency happens in a single shot. So for example, in this case, the multi-file 1.cpp plus this header file happens in a single shot. It has nothing to do with core1.cpp. For example, if I do compilation mistake here, so this is a compilation error, when I compile this particular file, no problem. Everything succeeds. But I'll get error when I compile this particular file. So I got the error here because of this. So at the time of compilation, the compiler look only for that particular file which you're compiling and it dependencies. For example, if I make a mistake here, that will be affected here when I compile this. So now it won't compile correctly because one of the dependency headers has error in it. So here we have a problem. So this is very important to understand. So definition is something which a linker looks for and also part of the final binary. Definition will be always part of the final binary. Declaration has no significance at the time of loading and execution. So it's just for making the compiler happy. So all the declarations like this should be in the header file and all the definition should be in the CPP file. So we have seen a multi-file C program which has two files and we have created corresponding header file for the source code and we have accessed a function inside this particular CPP file in this file. So some of the practices I have already mentioned all the declaration should be in header files all the definition should be in source files. So as I mentioned, declarations are things which compiler look for at the time of compilation. Definitions are things which linker look for at the time of linking. So linking happens after the compilation. Normally, header files and C files or C++ files are pairs like mymodule1.h and mymodule1.cpp which contains the definition my module 1.h contains all the declaration of variables and functions. Now we will see extern and static keyword two keywords in C in the case of global variables. So this is the same program which we have seen before. So we have code 1.cpp and multifile 1.cpp. What I'm going to do is I'm going to declare a global variable inside this cpp file. So we have a global variable a equal to 100. So now I wanted to access that a from here. So for that, if I declare another variable here, int a equal to 100, I will have a problem. So let's see the problem first. So linker is complaining that int a is already defined in chord1.rpg. So I cannot do that. And if I don't do that, if I do a equal to 200, a is undeclared identifier here. So this is a global variable. I wanted to access that global variable in a different file. So in some terminology, files are also called modules. I don't agree with that much. It's sometimes confusing. I will strictly using the name file because it is just a file at the end of the day because the term module is not very well defined. So there are two solutions for this. One other solution is using a static here.
So in this case, this int a and this int a is different. So this int a is local to this particular file and this int a is global, actual global variable. So if you want to access this int a exactly same variable here, same memory location, what you have to do is extern int and you have to remove this part so now this extern int a is exactly same as this if you want you can move this extern int a this is a declaration so you're making the compiler happy to this header file if you want. So I'm commenting out this. So never add definitions to header files. So we'll see a problem for adding definitions to header files. So this is the definition of A. This is allocating a space in the final binary. Let me copy this, control X and I copy this here and I'm building it again so everything is fine now no problem at all now let me create another source code file I'm going to name it test1 I'm not going to add much code other than adding this header file. So I have added this particular header file into the new source code. You can add any number of lines, no issues. But the purpose of explanation, this all is good. So now I have a problem. Int a is already defined in main file.obj. So all the CPP files will create corresponding OBJ files. So this will create code1.obj, that is an object file, which is created after the result of the compilation. So this is creating the multifile1.obj, and this will create test1.obj. So when the linker was trying to link all these things together, linker found out that this particular variable is already defined in multifile1.obj. How that happened? In multifile1.cpp, we have included this particular header file, code1.h. And code1.h contains this particular definition. So this particular definition is also present in this particular header file because we have added code1.obj there as well. Two CPP file has same definition. So that is a problem. So header files are supposed to be included in multiple CPP files. Solution for this problem is code1.obj. So make it extern, make it declaration extern int a and define it in any of the source code. So you can do it here or there. Int a equal to 200. Now the header file contains only declaration. One of the source code file contains the definition. This source code file does not contain any definition because this header file contains just the declarations. So now things should be good. and it is. A little bit more about static keyword in the context of multifile C programming. So static keyword is exactly equivalent to global variable. So it's part of the binary. Even if it is inside a function, it is part of the binary. 
it is initialized at the beginning of the program well before the program is getting executed in the case of global scope static controls the scope of the variable for example if I do a static int a this int a is visible only in the case of this particular file I cannot access this static int a from this file by any means whatever declaration definitions I keep I cannot access this from this file this particular definition is local to this particular file so that is the difference between static int a and int a int a is globally visible to all the files static int a is only visible in multifile1.cpp so we have seen the use of the keyword extension to declare the global variables in the header files or anywhere for that matter so that is uh, used for the declaration of global variables we have seen the use of static keyword in the scope of file we have seen this particular demo we have distinguished between declaration and definition so declaration should be in header files definition should be in C++ files that's it thank you very much